Hello everyone, welcome back to the Civilization channel. We're, this is a bit of Arbiter Admiral's Retro. We're playing in a game of Ozymandias. I'm joined by Rhythian. Hello. Who is the Egyptians. Daltos is the Aztecs. Hello. Potato is the, the Mycenaeans. That is correct. Mycenaeans. Uh, Duncan is the... The Zoe. The Zoe. And uh, uh, the AI is playing the rappers. Now, I tried to ban the Mycenaeans at the start because I was like... They look hard and bad, but Potato has ended up playing them. The Aztecs are all... The Incans are also hard. Uh, I'm playing those. This is according to... The, this is like the seeding yeah. for Ozymandias. So Potato and me, not favoured to win. Rest of you might win. Maybe. Just <laughs> setting expectations nice and low to begin with is all. Yeah. Yeah. There's a world map, which is really cool. You've got a minute 53. Minute 53. No one's born in Australia, because I guess that's just not how the world works. Hmm. I'm Inca. Downsource is Aztec. Wow, we're quite far away, actually, from each other, Inca and Aztec. It's kind of crazy. Yeah. Do you know that the Aztec are actually called the Nahuatl people? And Aztec was just the name of the main city, and Incas were called something else, like the... Not that. I forgot their actual name. <laughs> Those are just invented names we came up for them. It looks like we all get our own continent, which is kind of cool. Um, You're supposed to react to that like, oh my god, that's such cool information. Oh my god. That is cool information. Whoa. Thank you for telling me. Poggers, dude. Thank you. I've, how long we got, Mike? I've got one minute left to figure out my strategy. Um, okay, God, what do I... I guess I want to expand to these forests initially, right? So let's make it cheaper to place flags in forest. Oh, but it costs me two science more to get this because I'm imperialist, who cares? I spend all my science on this. Let me expand to some forests on turn one. Do you guys spend all your money early or do you try to save it? I spend it or spunk it all out. Well, you, your money is automatically spent based on where you assign it. So it's it's default on a it's default to food and it's two two money per food. Yeah, I'm gonna try something else this time. I'm gonna try to use science money. Okay, I get one food per turn from forests. I get two from river. Uh oh. Rivers are very good, but they aren't very common on this map, especially. I got a big river. Is, for a world map, very small. <laughs> <laughs> this river's everywhere. What are you talking about? I changed my mind. I changed my whole turn. Okay. And I just took two tiles. <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> like one second left. I wanted the river because the river gives me twice as much food as a forest. So it's mm. like, why bother? Am I, why am I even bothering to expand? Oh, now you have to pick. I have to pick these cool things. Okay, I'm gonna pick river boatman. I get a free river. I got the same. Uh, Fifteen. I don't want C because I get nothing from it. Dadsos, why are you expanding down towards me, you jerk? I got C. Go up and go up and get America. Yeah, okay, fine. You're incursioning. I'm not really incursioning that much. Don't go any south of than this. Okay. That's my land. Fine, I guess. This land is my land. This land is his land. <laughs> He's forward settling. This guy. That is not forward settling. I'm claiming the, the Darien Pass in Panama. All right, fine. I suppose you can have Panama, right? But... This recording is just all a ruse to let me show off my geography skills. <laughs> is Panama South America or North America? Central. Central America. No, I'm asking, is it North or South? <laughs> <laughs> Central was not an option. It's North. <laughs> I'll have to the Guatemalans and Honduran. Wait, how do I undo my turn? I messed up. Press the rubber. No. In the bottom right, there's a rubber. Yeah, you can press that rubber. It won't let me click the rubber. You can click the rubber. It restarts your entire turn. Oh, South America starts wh where like the little point ends right right what do you mean so under panama so it's so you reckon it's south do you like, if you were going to snap north and south america in half where it would where it would naturally break that's where <laughs> that's where south yeah. starts <laughs> that real thin bit the very weak part right there how annoying is that that the world grew a really thin part right there we had to dig a whole <laughs> fucking canal through it <laughs> why very lucky yeah Flag technologies are so much more expensive for me. They're like seven instead of five. I yeah. just can't be asked. My f my food tech is insanely expensive. I have no food. I fucked up my first turn. Whoops. You went for too much water, I assume. Yeah, I went for ocean thinking it'd be a little bit better. It's expensive to what great oceans. Okay, I've, I'm have i getting the rivers. I'm getting the grass. I'm going to get this river in South America or the old um, Argentinian river, that bit at the bottom. I, I don't know how you've taken so long to click click three flags. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've ended my turn. Who hasn't? I forgot to end my turn. <laughs> my game's completely over. I can't get any food every turn. It's, just, it's <laughs> over. <laughs> I'm completely fucked up. Put 100% of your wealth back into food, Dassos, if you haven't. I can't. I don't have any wealth. <laughs> <laughs> so I read a really interesting thing about Africa the other day. Yep. And it was that basically 
Africa doesn't have very many deep rivers, right? Right. Or, or navigable rivers, because it's it's very high continent, and as a result, like comparatively compared to all the other continents, it's very hard to go inland on rivers because 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 the rivers like are basically you go about ten miles inland and there's rapids and like it's going up and right. down a waterfall, and it's just like very very hard to um, navigate inland, and also it doesn't have any very like good ports apparently or like some, something to do with like the, the shelf that it's on means that it's quite hard to get deep water ports easily bad anchorage and so as a result it's like always had trouble trading like african countries always had trouble trading with the world which is why people think it's it's sort of more isolated than the rest of the world generally it's just because of the rivers not being able to sort of traverse very far, far inland so everything has to be trucked in or or lorried up and down. There's a great channel you might like called Real Life Lore that goes over stuff like that. Oh, that sounds great, Dad. So I should definitely, definitely be watching that. Yeah. Um, that sounds like it'd be right up my alley. Oh yeah, you get to find about Bosphorus Straits and stuff like that. How impregnable America is. I'll impregnate the bitch. Why everyone settles in harbors. You guys came over here to America and just settled every harbor. That's where all our cities are. Yeah. Oh God, I'm about food and I'm not getting many more. I have no food and I am completely stagnant. You tend to do that at this point. I started in the desert and I'm having a great time. <laughs> this, this is the starvation phase of the game. It's hard to get food right yeah, now. Yeah, you, you always get it at this point. I haven't gotten food in like three turns. I, I picked uh, nothing but ocean, two mountains, and none of them get food. I have one forest style. I completely fucked up. How do you know how much food you're going to get next turn? It on, your, on your wealth, it says, under the food column. The money screen, yes. I'm going to have get three next turn. 13 yeah. next turn, if I, unless I spend mine this turn. It's like two flags, it's all right. Eh. Why have I, well, I only got five this turn, though? You'd probably use your wealth. Yeah. I used my wealth for what? For food. Oh, I see. I, I went through all of my wealth. Oh, it says now I'm going to have 10 next turn. I just need enough to get a riv one river tile next turn. Yeah. That's what I'm going for. <laughs> Fucking hell. Okay, sorry, we're stagnating over here in America. This is very accurate. <laughs> well, I, just, I put one flag down. Like, this, that's normal. Mm. Okay. Oh, I can get woodworking, which will give me three money per forest in a future turn, which will give me nine right now. That seems pretty good. I've got the Amazon rain. I'm like the one person on the map who has a shitload of forest. Very good. Must be nice. Must be nice. I'll hold that in supply. Or, though, I could take the other option, which is a free mountain flag. And to get a mountain, it would cost me... How much would it cost? It's ten. Like a, so, it's technically, it's... Technically, it's free! <laughs> yeah. Technically, it would be free. So, I'd either get a mountain tile now, but what would that mountain tile give me? It would give me one hill and one money. Mmm. Which is half a food. Uh, sorry, one beaker, one science, and one money. But science, I'm not really using the science for anything. I've got 15 science, and I'm not using it. What am I supposed to be using it for? Upgrading your tiles. Yeah, but it's like 60. Well, save up then. Let's get 100 science to get an upgrade. I mean, there's not really many decisions to make at this point. <laughs> it's just like, start to click three flags, then turn. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, shut the fuck up. <laughs> By the way, look how shit England is on this map. It's an island, yeah. It doesn't do it. It's not got nothing on it. Look at, look at all of Indonesia and Japan. Yeah. I'm going to take the woodworking. I'm just going to claim it right now and get a nine. Fuck it. I'm going to go here and I'm going to expand as well to, to here. Oh, I can't. A stranger from an antique land told me about two vast and trunkless legs of stone standing in the desert. Yeah? Yeah. It was Ozymandias. It was this King of Kings dude. It was fucking lame. He just died. And then all shit went to shit. Was he telling the truth? Yeah. Oh, you mean, uh, the, you mean the guy from Marchman? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ozymandias is a cool poem, I guess. Goes to show you don't be mean. Yeah, but what about Ozzy Womandias? Mm. Let's be real. I know. It's 2023. You just expanded four tiles! Shut up! Well, I saved up money. Fucking what? Oh, I thought you were bragging about expanding three tiles. I, was gonna... I saved. I saved to do that. I had a shit turn before. You didn't see my bad turns, okay? You're judging me by my best. Tay is you're out of control. You're... No, 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 no. Tay is out of control. Every one of my turns is a bad turn. He's judging me by my best turns, okay? 
Yeah. You're judging me based on my Instagram pictures, not based on like my <laughs> webcam <laughs> image, you know? I'm crushed. Don't be crushed. 40 bucks for an army, bloody hell. I'm putting one flag down. You're already thinking about an army? Well, I'm just checking the cost, and I don't have anywhere near that much. I'm next to the AI, so... I don't know if it's a wise idea to try to aim for the 100 science upgrade this early. Probably not. That would be a tough. I mean, if you've got if you've got mostly desert tiles, it probably is. Like, yeah. but you should be expanding south towards those forests and the plains and stuff. Yeah. It's just it's expensive to get food. Wait, who's orange? They're like trying to intercept me. Orange is the AI. God, what a jerk. That's why I'm thinking about getting an army because <laughs> they're gonna be annoying. Oh my god, they've just sucked up. They're blocking your way to Australia yeah. and they're sucking up the top. Mm. They're like a giant amorphous blob. I don't like it. This game is like Risk with extra steps. A little bit. You're like Risk with extra steps, Daltos. Uh -huh. Oh, it wants me to build a city on river. Hmm. How much is that going to cost? A lot. 16. Is that it? That's a cheap city. Oh, yeah, it's cheap, cheap for me. Man. 20, it's less, 20% 20 less on coast. And I've only got one city that's only size one as well. Remember, cities eat food. That is true. Is that true? Yeah. They give a lot of science and a lot of money, but they eat food. Same. One food per population. Now we'll have 14 money next turn. Should I just rush into the economy as well? Like, what's the deal here? I just don't have the flags. Oh, potato's still going another four in a turn. What a fucking jerk. Fucking what? I, I'm the expansionists. I get cheap flags. Yeah, I don't bet. Be, don't be arguing about my flags. I could finally afford something. I bought my first flag in three turns. <laughs> At least this isn't a sieve where we have, like, we're staring down the barrel of another five hours after this fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a terrible start, and you're just gonna have to live with it. Yeah, it's my own fault. My lord just took the gun out and shot myself in the foot. Not the foot. My feet. My kingdom for a foot. Okay. Oh, yeah. Three flags and a forest. Okay. Can you see the little boats sailing from Africa to South America? Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wait, I think those are rocks. All right. So, you're, who's blue? Dark blue? Me. Duncan. Oh, shit, you're China. Hmm. God. I'm a bit cut off by the AI. What is this? What are these fields? Fields? Like planes. Mm. Yeah. Ooh. Steeps. Steps. Oh, steps. The great planes. Steppies. And put a single flag down at the. Mm. Neither did I. I think the game knows I suck and it just keeps giving me free claim flag text over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe it does. Maybe it's like giving you. Maybe it's helping you out of the rut. No, you you get you always get claim tags early on. Yeah, there's like a transition point. I think I've gotten several. I wish there was like an undo just my last action button because having to undo your whole turn is a little much. Yeah. Oh yeah, those five button clicks is really hard to repeat. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do my quest. Build a city on river. That gives me a yield tech, and I can get the river, the river tech. So I now get five food from a river. You don't, get, you don't have a huge amount of rivers. Oh no, I get three food per turn from rivers. Okay, that's pretty good. I've got four, three rivers. <laughs> oh no, this doesn't count. Oh, I lost the river because I built a city on it. I've only got two rivers. <laughs> okay. City, cities are better though. So, what do I need cities for? Cities uh, are like your defensive towers. They protect your land. Yeah, they, they add combat strength to your borders, and they also give you decent uh, amount of science and wealth. And tiles that are closer to your cities are cheaper to claim. So, like, I did a turn where I spent no food so I could build a city over in Russia, and then that let me extend really far into that northern forest, like, really cheaply. My northern forest, you mean? I don't see your flag on it. Um, no, that's true. <laughs> so ocean tiles give me nothing at all? No. Right, sure. Yeah, that was my big mistake when I did that early expand. I spunked out all my fucking food on the, the ocean. The first thing you do when you load up this game is open your science tab and check which tiles you have the most techs in to start with. <laughs> yeah, I'm dumb. Shut up. No. <laughs> I realized that after I did. I was like, why don't I get any food, science, or money? Oh. <laughs> I think maybe I've over... What's the word I'm looking for? Overextended in desert. Uh, it's not that strong yet. It takes a lot to actually make desert as useful. Mm. I'll see. Oh, it wants me to build a yield tech for forest now. 
Okay, so I have a quest that is place three flags on desert. So I have to place three flags on desert this turn to do that, right? No, 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 just, just, just it, forever. Oh, okay. Oh, that's just in total. Oh. It, if it's in one turn, it will, t it will stay in one turn. Oops. I thought I knew this game. What's wrong? <laughs> it's like you fucking like let's play Lazy Manias this morning. I'm like ah, I'll play that. It's a great game. I know I'm I doing. I remember this game. Yeah, no, we don't. <laughs> you don't. Idiot. Turns out. Can I undo? Yeah, press the eraser or rubber. Undoes your whole turn. Yeah, cool, cool. Are you gonna take that forest between us, Deltos? No, you can. I can. I. I have two food every turn. You go ahead. Thanks, dude. Get the Isthmus of Panama. Can I stop you? No. Well, I'm just asking. Do you want the island? Do you want the Caribbean? Um, no, not really. I grabbed the one. I don't really need a second. I don't want the Caribbean island. You've got you've got more islands than I have. You're gonna have those islands at the top as well. I don't have any islands. If you take the island, I don't have to put anything into island tech. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you from yourself. One time I went to Jamaica and when we got off the boat, they all gave us a bunch of bracelets and we're like, Welcome to Jamaica, we love you. Do you want to donate to the school children? And we we're like, No, and we walked away and they chased us down and took the bracelets back. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Well they need to give them to the next chumps. Yeah. You know, it's just like recycling. You know, they, they sell us stuff, we buy it, then we give it back to them so they can sell it to more people. Smart. I'm okay with that. I'm some, honestly, like, I'm getting to the point in my life where I will just give someone money to go away. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just, if I could pay someone to leave me alone. Just don't scam me. Here's money. Do you know what I mean? And then I'll throw it in the bin afterwards and, you know, they can go back in that bin and get it out if they really want it. Oh, I'll tell you, how did you get that tile? I invested into power tech and forest. Ah, shit. That's really annoying. Oh, I can claim the island with a free, free, free thing. Can I have the island? Yes, we'll split it in half. I'll be Haiti, you'll be Dominican Republic, both in economics and... <laughs> so I had a theory today about, like... I don't know if it's my theory, maybe I heard it somewhere. <laughs> about religion. Now, okay. I, uh, here I, we I, go. I've already got a couple of theories <laughs> about religion, but I should write a book. But I'm not going to. My, this, this theory was that, you know how back in the day, people used to not eat proper food that went moldy and it was full of like yeast and like all sorts of stuff right and they they just ate herbs and random smoked random crap and spiritual stuff like they do now and it gives them hallucinations okay a lot of people today i was reading this reddit thread the other day where people were talking about their the times they've smoked salvia uh -huh. and it was all awful <laughs> all, all the times they've like done i could tell some, you about it <laughs> some dmt or some like um any any hallucinogenic stuff they even like the most hardcore atheists are like, I heard the voice of God, you know, and it was like talking to me. And I'm like, this is probably how it got started. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> like in the first place. Well, almost certainly, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Someone was, someone thought. Oh, That's shit. um, the mu the mushroom shaman theory is what you're talking about. Oh, the stoned ape theory? The stoned ape theory? Stoned ape, yeah, thank you. But people were taking hallucinogens back in the day, and that's what expanded our brains. Not fish, but you know, whatever. I think you're right. I think that that's a very sound theory that a lot of people were just high on shit. That was the Oracle of Delphi and shit like that. You just get high and you say what you talk about. Yeah. I wish we could go back to that first, like, human hominid that ate that mushroom and then, like, realized that actually, if you put a rock at the end of a stick, now you have a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> right. And then it vomited everywhere. Probably. Hand him a claw hammer. <laughs> <laughs> So what does what does having cities give me? Military strength, uh, victory points. Per per pop, you get science, two science for each city pop, and one wealth per each city pop. But also each city pop eats a food. Is it worth it? Yes, I, I think so. Long term. Late game, you just spam cities. Should I start spamming them now, or should I start trying to cross the ocean now? Well, you want to get some ocean tech first, but yeah, you want to. Well, let me let me see. You're playing. You're the imperialist Incas. Yeah, so you have the ability Man. that... Every time I play this, I immediately want to restart. <laughs> so I immediately yep. play and go like, no, that was dumb. Damn. Uh, I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, Lewis, you're the imperialists, so you want to have a lot of cities, but not grow them very much. Right. So that's that's your that's your thing. Whereas like my thing okay. is, um, I claim a lot of land. Like, pretty si I'm about to claim the entire Atlantic Ocean. Like, in the next three turns. Ooh. Okay, I'll build cities in that case, Potato. I'll do what you tell me. That, that, you don't have to do that, but that would be hmm. playing to your strengths. Well, I get, I'm looking at C, and C gives me nothing and costs a one. <laughs> yeah, but you can you can upgrade the C. Yeah, but like, it costs a hundred to upgrade the C to one food per turn. Yeah, that's that's 
I'm, ne I'm never going to get 100. And then I need a lot of C to make that worthwhile. Oh, well, cities give you science from so you will. Place 10 flags in one turn. Fuck off, no way. I've got, I've got that one as well. I'm never going to get that. Yeah, right. Yeah, never going to get that. Uh, play I'm going to take it, though, since the other option is just dog shit. All grassland yield techs. Am I going to be able to get that ever? I've got one tech in grassland. Oh, no. No, I need to get 40, really. I need to get, I need to get some science together. But I'm building cities all over my grassland. Is there a quick way to see at a glance how many tiles you have of a certain type? Yes. Yeah, in, in, the, in, in the menu, tree. yeah. In the science tree, you can see on the left-hand side. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay, that's good. Seven forests, and I haven't upgraded them. I need to upgrade money from forests. Okay, Let's, I need to focus. Yeah. I always forget how to play this game. You need to focus. You're doing, like, the best. You got three cities and so much. I got five. Five cities. <laughs> This game, it's not my favorite game of all time, but this is really elegant design in how this game is done with the squares and the upgrades and everything. I think it's really creative. Oh, the fucking AI is attacking me. <laughs> oh, shit. It's a creative idea for a board game. I would have never thought of this. Yeah. It's very crunchy to play, you know? Yeah. Captain Crunch. Mmm. Why can't I afford to make an army? I have enough money. Do you? Yes. It's cost 40. I've got 41. You can't click it? Nope. <laughs> is is that is 41 next turn or this turn? Uh, no, that's now. Yeah, I have it now. Huh. Do you have a city? Oh, it's because I have to haven't picked my opportunity. Okay. Man. There you go. <laughs> Every time in this game I go, I do my whole turn and then I look at my science and go, oh, I should have done it that way. And then I have to <laughs> erase and go back. It's, it's a bit like, um, it's just a really fun optimization puzzle because there's like so many options, but they're just... They're all so simple. It's like, do I click this first or this? Yep. Do I press this button? It's just a weird little engine game, and I love it. Mm. Replayable, too, because you always want to do a little bit better next time. Yes. Is the AI going to win this fucking game? <laughs> Duncan. <laughs> well, I'm defending. I'm good. Don't worry. <laughs> Where's your army? If you end your turn, you fucking see it. <laughs> <laughs>